Hey folks, buckle up, because today we're diving into Manic Emu, the new emulator that's so smooth, it feels like your childhood games just got a glow up on your phone. We're talking retro gaming made simple. From installing the app and adding your games, to hooking up a controller and actually playing. And yeah, we're gonna show it all in action. Let's go. First up, grab the app. Just head to the App Store, type in Manic Emu, and boom, boom, it's yours. No waiting, no fuss. It installs in seconds and runs like a dream on iPhones and iPads. Launch it and you're greeted with a slick, clean interface that gets straight to the point. Premium features. Now, here's the cool part. The base app is free, and it's not some watered down demo either. You get save states, controller support, on-screen controls, and even touchscreen skins customized for every system. But if you really want to turn things up a notch, there's a pro version. Optional, but packed with perks like online multiplayer, HD texture scaling, cloud saves, and cross-device sync, and custom screen filters for that perfect retro look. Totally worth it if you're serious about emulation, but the free version honestly covers most of what you'll need. Skins and custom layouts. Speaking of which, Manic Emu lets you deck out your screen with controller layouts that match the console you're playing. NES? Got it? GBA? Yup. DS and 3DS? Double screens and all. They're not just pretty, they're actually practical. Each skin is optimized for the game system you're running so everything feels right. Performance modes. Worried about lag or battery drain? No sweat. In each game's settings, you can pick from three modes. Compatibility mode, for those quirky older ROMs. Performance priority, runs smoother on lower end devices. Quality priority, turns up the visuals if your phone can handle it. You get full control depending on your device and preferences. Let's talk controllers. Bluetooth pairing is super easy, super easy. Just connect your Xbox controller, PlayStation DualShock, 8-bit do-pad, or whatever modern Bluetooth controller you've got. The app detects it automatically, no profiles, no nonsense. And yes, you can remap every button exactly how you like it. Adding games. Now let's add some games. This part's crazy simple. You've got options. From Files app, tap the plus button, pick your ROM, zipped or not, and you're good. Wi-Fi transfer. The app gives you a web address. Open it on your computer, drag your games in, done. Clipboard download. Got a direct ROM link copied? Paste it and the app handles the rest. Your library updates instantly, complete with game titles and box art. It's super clean. Gameplay time. Now for the fun part, let's fire up some games and see what Manic Emu can really do.
Metal Slug, explosions, chaos, and buttery smooth gameplay. Feels just like the arcade. Bur Burnout dominated PSP. Fast paced racing, smooth drifting, and perfect for a physical controller. Street Fighter 4. Tight input, crisp graphics, and even with touch controls, it's a solid fight. Super Mario 3D Land. Plays great overall. Smooth controls, clear 3D visuals, a couple minor stutters now and then, but it never ruins the experience.
Streets of Rage Mega Drive, classic beat em up vibes, punchy audio, and super responsive controls. Whether you're on touch or a controller, it just works. No BIOS files, no pop up ads, no weird setup steps. So there you have it. Manic Emu is lightweight, powerful, beginner friendly, and honestly, one of the cleanest mobile emulators out there right now. The free version gets you everything you need to dive into retro gaming, but if you want to take it further, the Pro upgrades right there waiting. If this helped, hit that like button, maybe subscribe for more emulation tips, and I'll catch you in the next one. Game on. Let's